everyone, I'm Kate Schwinky and welcome back to my channel. I have a special video for you guys today. I'm excited to introduce our newest family member to you. This is Emma. She's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and we've had her for about three weeks now. We got her when she was eight weeks old. So she's 11 weeks now and she's getting big fast. <laughs> we just love her two bits. She is the sweetest, most playful and snuggly little thing ever. <laughs> and as you can see right now, she's very chewy. So she is at that stage where she's basically chewing on everything everywhere. But in this video, I'm going to be talking all about everything that we purchased for her before she arrived so that if you are looking to purchase a new puppy or adopt, you will be as prepared as possible. So let's get started. So in this video, I want to share with you guys everything that we purchased prior to bringing Emma home. These are must haves for anybody bringing a new puppy home. And I will be linking everything I can in the description below for you. So if there's a particular item that you are looking for, the links will be in the description below for you. Now there is a lot you need to purchase for a new puppy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> So please bear with me because I'm going to try and cover everything and talk about everything just a little bit so that you guys will know all the good things there are about that particular item. So the very first thing you need to have is a crate. This is where puppy is going to be sleeping and spending a lot of time. You will also need a crate pad and I'm going to show you guys what we use. This is the crate that we purchased from PetSmart. Now they didn't have a 24 inch crate, which is the size we needed for Emma in the doggy section. So we actually had to go to the cat section. So this is the one we have. It actually has a top opening and a front opening and it's been really easy to get her out of there when she's extra sleepy or she just doesn't wanna come out. So if we need to do that, we just open the top and she's able to come out through there. And this is the pad that we got. I just kind of went with the cheapest, highest rated one I could find on Amazon. Um, and I didn't really care about color. We were in a huge rush <laughs> to get everything we needed prior to bringing her home. So I got this one and we've been really happy with it. I've washed it like three times already and it washed up really well. So I highly recommend this one. Great price for what it is. You're also going to need a collar and I'll show you guys the one that I purchased for Emma because it is really, really pretty. I love corals and pinks and I just thought it was so pretty with her coloring. She is actually called a Blenheim, which is a ruby and white color on the Cavalier. So. I just love it, I think it's so pretty. So this is the collar that I got for her and I also got a matching harness and this is what the harness looks like so you guys can get a better idea. Oh, she's excited about it. <laughs> so this is what the harness looks like. It's really, really pretty. It's got rose gold accents and just, the it's so pretty you guys, I love it. So this is what her collar looks like too. And it actually comes with a really, really cute bow tie detailing. She's after her toy, she keeps dropping it. Keep dropping the toys, huh? So you're definitely going to want a harness because when your puppy gets big enough, they're gonna start wanting to go more places and you're going to wanna take them with you as well. And a harness is definitely the way to go. So you don't have to get the one that I have. I just thought that was the prettiest one that matches her collar and all that. So there are definitely other options out there too. I also wanna share with you guys the tag that I picked out for her. I'm not gonna show you ours because it has our information on it, but these are the ones that I always use and I've used them for all of my pets over the past, I wanna say nine years and I've been really happy with the quality. They've held up really well and they're actually really not that expensive either. So the one that I got for her collar actually Velcros around the collar itself so it can't move around or slip and it just stays put. So I highly recommend those, I love them. The next thing you're going to want is definitely a leash. You can get a retractable leash, you could get a rope leash like I have. I actually purchased our rope leash from Kavology online and <laughs> she's excited. Um, but this is a really gorgeous woo, <laughs> rope leash. And um, Mai, who makes these and sells these on her Kavology website, is actually another YouTuber, so I love supporting other YouTubers. I'm gonna put this away because she thinks it's a toy now, but definitely go check her out. She is over at Herky the Cavalier. So definitely grab yourself a leash. You can get, like I said, whatever kind you prefer. I just really like the rope leashes because they're beautiful. And that particular one really matches all her stuff. Another thing you're going to need, of course, is bowls, a water bowl and a food bowl. And these are the ones that we have. They are by Ray Dunn. This is actually something that I bought for my cat a long time ago. Um, like I said, we were in a really big rush to gather things for Emma's arrival 
because we didn't know we were actually going to be getting her as soon as we did. We planned for February. We got her in December. So, so it was a very happy surprise, but we definitely weren't as prepared as we wanted to be, but we did manage to get everything we needed prior to bringing her home. So these dog bowls have been working great. I do have some other ones on the way from everythingspaniel.com. They are custom made spaniel bowls and they are so pretty. I just have to wait for them to come in because they are handmade. <laughs> But spaniel bowls, if you aren't sure what those are, basically they are kind of shaped like more like a funnel or a cone um, so that the ears don't get wet because cavaliers have very, very long, full, beautiful ears. So, and a lot of other spaniels have really long ears too. So they're made specifically to keep them out of the food and water. The next thing I highly recommend is you get yourself a mat to go under the bowls. So the mat basically just protects your floor from overflow of the water bowl or food falling on the floor and it prevents your bowls from slipping. So this is the one that I got and I ordered it on Amazon. Another thing you're going to need, of course, is food. <laughs> Definitely get a high quality food that has as little ingredients as possible, whole ingredients that are really healthy for your pet. And so what I actually purchased is Life's Abundance, which is what our breeder recommended and gives her Cavalier King Charles Spaniels as well. So we're just going with that. And so far she's been just thriving and enjoys her food. So I, I recommend that for sure. Another thing you will definitely need are these puppy pads. <laughs> so I actually ordered these on Amazon. These are good size. These are a large size. So it covers a large portion of her play area, which I will go over in a little while. But this is as big as they are. There is no adhesion on the bottom, so they do kind of slip around, but it's easy to pick them up, easy to clean up, and they don't leak. As long as I've had them, they have not leaked on us. Uh, so I, I highly recommend this particular one because they are not that expensive. I think you get like, I want to say a hundred for like $17. I think that's pretty good. So definitely get yourself some puppy pads. You're going to need them. <laughs> Another thing you are definitely going to need is an enzymatic spray. So I have the Nature's Miracle one here, and it says enzymatic formula stain and odor remover. And I've heard people have gotten really tough stains out with this. I haven't had to deal with stains because most of our downstairs in our house is actually hardwood. So it's been really easy to clean up spills and accidents um, with her. So she doesn't have too many a day. She's doing really good outside but it does occasionally happen. So I highly recommend you get that, which you can order on Amazon as well. And the best thing about that spray is that it basically gets rid of the urine or poop smell off the floor. So your dog will not return back to that particular area to use that spot as a potty spot again. So I think that's really important to have something like that. Another thing that I have is actually this. It's called um, the Life's Abundance bio Base bio deodorizer. You guys, this spray is amazing. Um, it basically, the only way I can really explain it is the way the breeder explained it to me is that you spray it in the air where the smell is and it basically eats and gets rid of that smell. I've used this in my cat's litter box area and it just smells amazing in there afterwards and it just, it doesn't smell anymore. Um, so that's great, but anytime she's made a stinky poop or something on the floor, I just kind of spritz it around and then boom, that smell is gone. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> what are you doing? She's got her bully stick, which I am very careful with. I make sure that she doesn't have um, too small of a piece to chew on and I'm always around when she's chewing it to make sure that she is safe with it. But I do highly recommend bully sticks. They keep these dogs so busy, you guys. And it helps break in those puppy teeth. So they do kind of stink though. <laughs> The next thing I highly recommend is toys. So I have this toy basket I've had with me this whole time because she needs to be kept busy a lot until she calms down. But I got this basket at TJ Maxx, or was it Marshalls? I think it was Marshalls. And um, it comes in a set of three pieces. So you have the big one. You guys can see I have a smaller one here. There's another one that looks just like this that goes inside the basket, but I figured I'd just use it for all her stuff. The best thing about having a woven basket like this is that if your dog chews on it, it really doesn't matter. It's not like a wooden basket where it's gonna fall apart. Um, she's chewed on this one a lot and pulled it around and it's still hanging in there really well. So this is just really well made and I really like it for her toys. So her toys are a mess now. She's had them, like I said, for three weeks. Um, but we just have certain things. I'll go through the ones that she really, really likes. 
I have this lamb chop one. This is her favorite. She sleeps with it. It makes her really happy. <laughs> so I always make sure to bring it to the vet and stuff with us too. I also have this one. This is one of her very favorite toys. This is a Kong toy. It has a squeaker here in the, t the top. Oh, you like that one? Yeah. And then it has these tentacle type of um, floppy things on the end that the dogs can really grip their teeth into. And you can have like a little tug of war uh, with them. So she just really, really likes that one at night. Another thing I highly recommend are these squeaky balls. She loves these. My husband and I sit on the floor at night and throw one back and forth and she just goes back and forth with them. She loves that game. So <laughs> just going after everything I'm talking about. There we go. So definitely make sure you have a good variety of toys. You want to have some that are squishy, you want to have some that are soft with a squeaker for sure. You want to have some that are specifically made for chewing. This is a Kong toy that you can fill up with peanut butter and stuff. Now I have put some in here but she's just not a fan of that. She'd rather chew on this by itself. Um, just make sure you get different textures and things like that and she really likes little tiny rope toys too. So I just definitely make sure you have plenty of toys in a good variety. Another thing I highly recommend that you have is a hose that connects to the shower so that you can easily give your dog a bath because sometimes when you get a new puppy the first thing you want to do is wash them because they've been with their litter mates and around other things that you don't know about so you may want to just wash your puppy right away um, and also just you know warm them up to the idea of having a bath. It, the sooner you start with that the better so that they get used to it faster. So I highly recommend this hose. We've been using this one for I want to say about nine years and they have revamped it since the one I have but they're basically the same. It's really easy to install. You just attach it to your shower head and when you want to use the hose you push in the hose into the socket and you can just use it. You can use warm water, you can use different pressures of water too. So I like to use a really low pressure with her. I don't even know if you guys can see her anymore because she's laying down. I'll put you up a little higher so people can see you. She's so cute. <laughs> You're also going to want some grooming wipes. If you have a dog that has a lot of tear stains or tends to get a stinky face or something like that, you're going to want some grooming wipes. And I have these from Earth Bath. They are hypoallergenic grooming wipes. And you don't have to use them just for the face. I think you can use them all over if you want. But um, anytime she's gotten tear stains, I just use one on her face and it seems to really help. You're also going to want, like I said, we're going over bath items right now. So um, you're going to want, I've got a couple different things here. This is the one I've used on her. It's the Pet Pleasant Lavender Oatmeal Pet Shampoo and I got this one on Amazon. It's tear free, paraben free, sulfate free, and cruelty free. Um, but basically it's a natural medicated strength pet shampoo with jojoba, lavender essential oil, and colloidal oatmeal to clean, deodorize, and freshen. So um, it smells really nice and it being tear free you can wash their face with it. So I also have this blueberry facial looks like this. So it's basically a brightening shampoo. So for dogs that have a lot of white, she happens to have a lot of white for a cavalier. Um, so when she gets extra dirty or if she has some yellowing on her fur, I would definitely be using the brightening shampoo. Another thing that I've been really happy with is actually this little brush set. I got this at PetSmart. I think I spent around 20 bucks for it. It's a chi set. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. It comes with three brushes. It has... <laughs> I'm not giving you a brush down right now though, babe. There we go. So it has a ball brush on this side, a soft brush on this side. Hey, Emma. Here we go. She's very distracting. <laughs> here, get into your toy box. Right here? Right here? Look at all those toys. She's just interested in what I'm pulling out right now. Um, it also comes with a slicker brush, which she's definitely going to need later on. Well, she doesn't seem to mind it. This is a very gentle one. Um, and then it also comes with a detangling spray, which I have not given a try yet. She hasn't gotten tangly yet, but um, as she gets older, she might get, a, get tangly. Are you going to just climb in there? Sometimes she likes to sit in this basket. Another thing you're going to need is toothpaste and a toothbrush. So I actually purchased this enzymatic toothpaste by Verbach. And I believe I got this on Amazon. And I also got this little soft toothbrush finger set. So... Yeah, she might bite me, but um, I feel like I could get a little bit more accurate with the cleaning. Bless you. Oh, do I have your toy right there? 
Um, so I definitely would prefer to do that, at least with a puppy at first, just so you can make sure that you're getting their teeth properly cleaned. For Cavaliers especially, you're going to need ear cleaning drops. So I purchased this one by Top Paw, and it is free of sulfates, parabens, and artificial colors. I got this at PetSmart. It's really easy to use. You do a few drops in each ear, and then you rub their ears a little bit and you're basically good to go. I mean, it can't get easier than that. Another thing I highly recommend, especially for this time of year, is a puppy sweater or a jacket of some sort. We've had so much ice and sleet and rain that she definitely needed something. It's also been kind of windy, which puts a chill through you. So, uh, man, she is going to town on the stick, you guys. Does that feel good on your teeth? Yeah. So definitely get some sweaters for your doggy. One of the best purchases, I wanted to save the best for last because one of the best purchases that I've made for her that we weren't 100% sure we were going to need but ended up being so thankful that we had it is our indoor playpen for her because with puppies, it's best to have them in a smaller area where they can be contained. They can still play, they can go to the bathroom, they can eat and sleep all in the same area without terrorizing your house because let's face it puppies chew on everything like everything i it's it's just like having a crawling baby around so having them in a little safe area all to their own is it's such a need you guys like definitely look into getting a playpen like the one i have and i will show it to you guys here this is our puppy's setup we have her crate over here in this corner with her pad Next to that, we have her eating area with her bowls and her mat. And then next to that, she has a puppy pad. Now, during the day, we don't have the pad in there because we are solely taking her outside to encourage outdoor pottying. But at night, she definitely has a pad right there so that she can use it. And then she also has this area over here with her toys in it. And this setup has been working fabulously, you guys. I can't stress enough how good it has been. <laughs> So I definitely recommend you guys try this setup because it's amazing. Now besides the indoor playpen, the other thing I've been very thankful to have is the outdoor playpen and this is what we have. You can purchase it on Amazon. It's been great. You can anchor it down with the anchors that it comes with. So if you live in a breezy area like I do, Tennessee, <laughs> that it's good to have things that are anchored down. And then I also recommend this topper that we got for it. We have hawks around, a lot of hawks, and I definitely don't want them carrying off my sweet little puppy who is the size of a bunny rabbit. <laughs> so I definitely recommend it. It's waterproof. It helps keep the wind off a little bit. So I've really, really enjoyed that setup as well. It's just, it provides a nice safe area for your puppy to play outside. And until she gets big enough, we'll probably keep her in there because she could right now just slip right through our fence easily. Another thing you're going to need is a pet carrier. So there are two different kinds you can get. You can have a soft carrier or you can have a hard carrier. I have used both for travel and I feel like they both work really great. So I have this one here. This is one I actually used for my cat, um, but it works really great for Emma too until she gets a little bit bigger. And then I also have this one. This one is made by Sleepy Pod and I highly recommend it. It is really, really high quality and well-made. It is air approved meaning you can take it on an airplane if you need to. It's also collapsible and it has a machine washable pad on the inside. So I really, really like it. Just the quality is amazing, you guys. Another thing you are going to definitely need is puppy treats. Now I wanted to go with a little bit more of a holistic type of approach on puppy treats since we are using a very low ingredient food with her already. So I have this wholehearted one. It says puppy treats with DHA. This one is lamb and salmon recipe. I also have another pack of the same brand in a different flavor and she really, really likes them. But the best thing about these, this is what the cover looks like. This is what they look like on the back. Um, the best thing about them is that you can break them down into smaller pieces so you have more treats. Um, and the dog won't know the difference between something really small and something big. I highly recommend these. They're healthy, they break apart easily, and they're just really easy to use. Plus, the puppies love them. And on to the last item. <laughs> I promise, I told you guys this was gonna be a long video, um, but this is the thing I've, I've been probably the happiest with, I think, even though it's a small item. But I actually purchased this from Marshalls. These are biodegradable poop bags, you guys, made from cornstarch. I love that. One of the things that I hate about picking up poop with bags is that like 
if they're made out of plastic, then you're just putting a ton of plastic into landfills. Uh, with these, I don't have to worry about that because it'll eventually disintegrate, which I love. So I really, really like these. And I will link these in the description below for you guys too because they do sell them on Amazon. Um, but they're made by Greenbone. I love them, highly recommend them. Another thing you guys might wanna be interested in is a bag to hold all the puppy's things for when you're traveling with your puppy or going to the vet because you do have to carry a lot of stuff um, for those first few visits. And I will link my video for how I packed that right here for you guys. I use the Jujube BFF. And that is everything. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And thank you for hanging in there with me until the end and getting to meet Emma. This is Emma up close. Emma, say hi. Can you say hi? Oh, you're so giving me kisses. <laughs> you're so cute. Look at the camera. Say hi to everybody. Oh, she just wants to look at me. <laughs> oh, give me kisses. Mwah. She is the cutest, you guys. Just a ball of fire, though. <laughs> so spunky. Yes. Oh. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe while you're here if you're new. Thanks for watching.